Hello and welcome. So in this video, we will show a step-by-step -step config and demo on how to configure Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps Data Loss Prevention or DLP. Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, it provides you with DLP capabilities that provide application control and cover the various data leak points that exist in an organization. We will cover blocking, cut or copy actions on web apps like Exchange and Microsoft 365 Admin Center. If you haven't checked out my other DLP videos within the channel covering Purview Endpoint and Exchange DLP, take a look. And please subscribe, like and comment on the channel and let us know what you think. OK, so let's get started with Defender for Cloud Apps DLP. OK, so we are going to enable settings here for different policies to work. So to provide data protection, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps gives you the visibility into all the files from your connected apps. So we will enable file monitoring here under settings and information protection. So now we go over to app connectors within the portal and click connect an app. And we can see the list of supported apps and we will choose Microsoft 365. This will cover our Outlook app and Microsoft 365 Admin Center web apps for this demo. And we will then tick all the components to connect the management and sign uh, event uh, activities and then we click connect. OK, good. So now let's go to the Entra ID portal at entra.microsoft.com and under protection, we click conditional access and we will then create a new conditional access policy. We give it a name and then we select the user this policy will be applied to. We will choose Office 365 as the target app this policy also applies to. We won't add any conditions for this demo and we will grant access um, and then go to session control. And then under session control, we will tick the use conditional access app control and select use custom policy from the drop down menu. Then select enable the policy and click create. So back in the Defender portal now, we can add in our selected apps and onboard and connect these. We click onboard and then click use app with session controls and click save. And our Exchange Online app is already connected and enabled. Let's now under the Cloud Apps and Policies section of the portal, create a new policy to block cut or copy actions in Exchange emails and the M365 Admin Center. So we click Create Policy and Session Policy and we will use a template for this. And as you can see, there's a selection of templates available for different requirements. For this demo, we will choose Block, Cut, Copy and Paste based on real-time inspection and we will apply that template. So we want to block um, these activities and we can see the activity types uh, equals cut, copy and paste. And the device tag, it does not equal a managed uh, inching compliant device or an Azure AD join device. So these are unmanaged devices outside of the organization using these web apps and we don't want users to copy and paste um, content or data to any unmanaged devices. We will add uh, an app filter, which equals our connected apps, Microsoft 365 Admin Center and Exchange Online. Okay, and we can use uh, content inspection here and block on credit card numbers, etc., and to match an expression. We're not gonna use content inspection for this demo, so we will untick that. And then we can change the block message and notify users by email um, and send an alert also by email if required. Okay, good, that's our policy now created. So let's test it out in the next section. So 
So let's test a, a copy action from Outlook web app in office.com. So we will open Outlook and we get a, an access to Microsoft Exchange Online is monitored message as a warning to the user. So when we attempt to highlight text in an email and right click that text to copy, we don't see the copy, cut or paste on the menu. And if we highlight again that text and we press Control plus C on the keyboard to copy that text, we then get a block message um, that uh, this action is um, blocked by your organization security policy, which is all good. We don't want users to copy data from unmanaged devices in a web app. And in the Microsoft Admin Center, where we also apply policy, when we try and copy user um, data, we also get a blocked message. OK, good. So we can see under the policy that we have two active incidents that have been triggered. So when we drill into these, we can see that the suspicious activity that triggered block cut copy and paste and this shows the user device type action and um, from the app it was performed uh, in this case Firefox. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Thank you very much for watching the video and see you all soon.